Canada's electoral system is something called first past the post. It's an antiquated relic we inherited from the British. You know, the people who gave us steam engines, colonialism, and tin can telephones. And like a tin can telephone, it doesn't really work. Here, let me show you. So the Liberals and Conservatives each got a third of the vote, but the Liberals got 39 more seats. Meanwhile, the NDP got 1.7 million more votes than the Bloc, but nine fewer seats. The Greens got 2% of the vote and only two seats, and the PPC got 5% of the vote and zero seats. I know what you're thinking. How the f did this happen? <laughs> There's gotta be a better way. A lot of prominent political commentators like Andrew Coyne believe that the answer is proportional representation. But it can be a little bit difficult to explain to people because it's like a complicated thing. Actually, Leonard, it's not that hard. It's a system where everyone's votes get represented in Parliament rather than just those who happen to vote with the largest block of voters in each riding. What other countries have this? Just about everybody. Why don't we have this? Accident of history, inertia, and the fact that the people who got elected under this system don't want to change it. Huh. Thanks, Andrew. Well, our electoral system is broken. But it sounds like proportional representation would be a great solution. If we had that in the last election, the Liberals and Conservatives would be in a dead tie. We'd have more NDP-style socialism. And with the Greens, the PPC, and the Bloc, we'd have a dash of that climate change, racism, and the French that the rest of us try to pretend doesn't exist. Now that is a government that truly represents Canada. For 22 Minutes, I've been Leonard Chan.